Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to solve a question on fleet code to discount good nodes in binary tree. So let's start with program statement. Given a binary tree root, a node x in the tree is named good if in the path from root to x there are no nodes with a value greater than x. Return the number of good nodes in the binary tree. So basically in this question we have given a binary tree and we need to count the number of good nodes here. right? So let's take the first example. So let me just copy it from here and paste it here. Right, so this is our first example, and let's say this is root initially. This is root, and if we check all the paths from root to x, right, so we can take five examples here, right. So, first we will consider this as a x, right. So, for this x, we have a path that is this path, right. So, this is a path for x. Now, the condition given to us there is that is a node x in the tree is named good if the path from root to x there are no nodes with a greater value than x right so what does this statement means this statement basically means that in the in this path the maximum value must belongs to x right so let's say the maximum value of this path is 3 right the maximum value of this path is 3 but the value of x is 1 it means this is not a valid path. So let's see another possible case, right? So let's take this as a x, right? This as a x. Now, if we check for this path, let's say this is a path. For this path, the maximum value is 3, right? The maximum value is 3, and the value of x is also 3. It means this is a valid path, right? This is a valid path. So we can consider this as a possible answer. Let me write a possible count here. That is 3, 1, 3 is a possible path right now let's see for other possible cases so we have completed his left side let's see for the right side so let's say we take 4 as a x right so for this 4 as a x we check for this path right for this path the maximum value is 4 and the value of x is also 4 it means this is also a valid path so let's write this 3 comma 4 is a valid path right now let's see for other cases now we take this one as x right now the path for this one is this right? this is the path for one the maximum value for this path is four right but the value of x is one these are not equal so we cannot consider this as a valid answer right or we can say the possible count so let's take another one now we are remaining with 5 so let's take this 5 as x and the valid path is this one the maximum value among all the nodes is 5 and x is also 5 so we can consider this as a possible path so till now we have got 3 that is 3 4 and 5 this is the last one we just saw right now there is one more case if we consider this 3 as the x value right so for this 3 we always get a path right so for this root to x this, this is the same so this is also a possible count right so total number of paths we get is equal to 4 right this is equal to 4 this first this is second this is third and this is fourth so the total number of count is equal to 4 so at the end we will be returning 4 from here right so i hope this example is clear to you let's see how can we approach this question right so you can easily observe this that we are basically checking each path right and we are just finding out the maximum value so let's say we first check for this path right then this path then this path right then we checked for this path and then last for this path right so these are the possible path we just checked right so if we carefully observe one thing then we can easily see this if we write the pre-order traversal of this binary tree right so let's write the pre-order traversal the pre-order traversal says that first we need to take the root right then we take the left one then the right one right so let's take the pre-order traversal of this tree so the pre-order traversal is 3 1 3 right like this 3 1 3 then this will go this side so this is 4 then 1 then 5 right so this is the pre-order traversal of this binary tree 
right so if we carefully observe this we are basically getting each path here right so we just checked for 3 and 1 right first we checked for 3 and 1 so this is the one path we are getting right then the second path is 3 1 3 this is the second path we just checked so this is the second path we got right similarly the third path is 3 and 4 so this is the 3 and 4 right so the adjacent value are basically the path we are getting right so we can easily see this that if we check the maximum value in this pre-order traversal then we can easily get our answer right we can easily get our answer so let's quickly see how can we compute the answer from pre-order traversal right so let's say we got a pre-order traversal here right so first we check for each condition right so let's say we consider 3 as x right 3 as x and root is 3 that we already know right so for this we are getting a possible path because root and x are same right so the, we are getting a possible answer here so we will just increment the count by 1 for this right now let's see for another case now let's move x here for this x this is 1 but the root is 3 that root is 3 so we cannot take this let's move forward now we take x here for this 3 we have root as 3 so we can count this as a possible count so let's, let's increment by 1 now we have 4 right now for this 4 let's consider 4 as x now this x for this x we have 4 as the maximum one and we are getting a possible path here so let's increment by 1 right now we have 1 so for this one we have root is equal to 3 so we cannot get a possible path here right we cannot get a possible path here and the maximum value till now we got is 4 which is greater than 1 right so we cannot take this as a possible count so let's move forward and let's consider 5 as x now 5 is basically greater than the maximum value we got till now so we got 4 as a maximum value right and we got 5 just now so 5 is basically greater than the previous maximum value so we can count this as a possible count right so till now after iterating through the pre-order traversal we got the 4 possible count so at the end we can return 4 from here right so the very simple approach which we are following right now is we are just checking the pre-order traversal right we are just checking the pre-order traversal of our binary tree right we are just checking the pre-order traversal of this binary tree and whenever we are getting a value right whenever we are getting the root value whenever the root value is greater than equal to maximum value right in this case we are just incrementing our answer right we are just incrementing our answer and at the end we will just return this answer right so i hope this approach is clear to you if you still have any doubt in this approach feel free to comment it down i will try to explain it again let's move to the coding part so let's quickly code it up before that let's take a variable int answer is equal to zero this will be keeping a count of our possible pairs or we can say possible values of x right now let's quickly write a pre-order function here so void pre let's call pre node root this is a classic pre-order traversal which we are coding just now and now let's take another variable that will be storing the maximum value right we are basically checking the maximum values here right we are just checking the maximum values here let's say for this 5 the maximum we got till now is a 4 so we are just comparing the 4 and 5 here right so as we have already seen in this statement too that we are just checking the root value with the maximum value right so let's take this and let's run a pre-order traversal so before that let's check whether root is null or not if it's null then return directly else just call pre root left and max similarly let's call pre root right and max right and for this in the pre-order traversal what we do we basically write a 
see out a statement here or we can say a print a statement here to print the element so rather than printing the element we can check the value of that element right so root value if it is greater than equal to the maximum value so in this case we can increment our answer and also we can change our maximum to root value right and at the end just return answer from here and also call this function to compute the values so pre root and the initial maximum value could be int min right and this is fine i guess let's try to run this on the simple test cases yeah it's running fine let's submit this yeah it's running fine so let's discuss the time and space complexity so the time complexity of our solution is bigger of n because we are traversing through all the n elements or we can say n nodes and the space complexity is bigger of h h is basically the height of the tree this is the auxiliary space for the recursive stack which we are basically taking for this recursive call here right so this is h is the height of the tree right so that is it for this video i hope you understood the solution and the approach if you still have any doubt in this question feel free to comment it down please like this video and subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next video